In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still Well, 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 I told y'all they're going to try to get you with that cord cutting one way or the other one. AT&T, who recently merged with Time Warner Cable, not only are they fighting Dish, but they're fighting their own customers, and we're going to talk about it. But first, I got to put on the plus seven glasses of the sexy as hell, work on skilling up this craft, giving you a better YouTube experience, definitely something better to look at. The sponsor for this video, because this is going to be about the only way to help y'all around some of this stuff they're doing by dropping you IP Vantage, baby. My favorite VPN. They offer the cheapest price of anywhere you're going to go for a VPN in a year. Check my video description link below. So AT&T has announced this coming month, they're going to be dropping thousands of people from their broadband service because I think AT&T has the second or third largest broadband service for internet in America. And why are they dropping people? Because people have kept going to what they deem as piracy sites, maybe using Kodi add-ons, maybe using websites, whatever. And they've sent warning letters to these people. And I've seen where they've sent up to nine letters to people, but people still go back and use it. And they're just saying, hell, we're done with this. We bought Time Warner Cable. We have all this access to copyrighted materials and we're not gonna be letting y'all get this shit for free. Y'all gonna have to pay us if y'all wanna see it. So I wanna know what you guys think. How do you feel about that? Now, at, they said it was gonna need a court order to do it, but they've gotten around it by rewriting their policies and procedures so that there's no longer need a court order to just drop you. I guess in one regard, you know, like we said, it's not illegal. We've been saying it's not illegal. They come haul your ass off and throw you in jail. But what we're seeing happening is more of the policing of what you can do online. There was one time, the only thing that we would all unanimously say is illegal is watching kitty porn. And there are some grimy MFers out there that sit around, jack off their penises, poke broomsticks up their butt, and watch kitty porn. No, yeah, that's illegal. We don't want them. Yeah, stop that shit, man. Stop it. But to go and watch stuff that other people put on the web, you know, I'm not feeling that. And y'all know they got this big, I think it's Article 13 or 19 or something in the EU that is going to fundamentally change the way you can do things on the web, period. And it's not just going to affect the UK. Some of that could also affect us people doing this YouTube thing. And so having said all those things, I just really want to know, how do you guys feel about all this freedom we claim to love in America being taken away on the internet? You're not being able to go do what you want to do on the internet. You're not being able to go watch certain sites where people are posting things and you just go look at it. They're not letting you do that because now pressure has been put on people that provide internet to yank your ass so that you just don't have access to it. And they're even keeping footnotes and possibly might start passing it along to people they consider to be their competitors so they'll know. The only thing I could see happening from this that could be good, but I don't know how long it would work, is if some entrepreneur came up inside to his own internet and he don't care what the hell you do, but y'all know what would happen. Everybody would start buying that entrepreneur's internet, looking at whatever the hell they want, and then in no time, all these little monopolies would come together to go against that one guy who's providing a service in the marketplace that needs a loophole, and they would crush down on him like the Titanic on top of an ant. That's what would happen. But let me know what you think. And if you haven't gotten a VPN, check out my IP Vanish link. Cheapest, one, cheapest deal you will get for a whole entire year. But let me know what you guys think about the future of streaming. Definitely the future of trying to do underground streams. It's shrinking day by day. They're closing in. I don't know how much longer we're going to have at doing this, but until the wheels completely fall off 
get rusted, and go off a cliff, we're going to keep riding this bad boy. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself that life game. Let me know what you think, people. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.